recording on Dread Intro. Betwixt the raising of the Undying Emperor and the Great Planner War that shook the heavens, there was an age of contradiction. Where cannons won kingdoms and muskets kept the peace, a brave few won the hearts of the conquered and conquerors alike. Of these, we speak of the decline of the great kingdoms and cultures under the heel of empire. Of those, we speak of gladiators and the untold thousands that worshipped them. Of this, an age of glory, where kings would be slaves and a gladiator would be king. The victory and defeat was very, uh, popped out at me tonight. I'm like, oh yeah, there's one way to de get defeat in there. Have them fight themselves. Woo! Oh, the lamentations of the players. As their favorite characters battle their favorite characters. One die, dragon die. Goosebumps over here. Goosebumps. Greetings and welcome to Die, Dragon, Die presents the Dread and Circus Campaign, Season 2, Episode 19. I'm your demon host, Marty, joined by the full crew, Adam, Mark, and Ahmed. How is everyone doing? And I will unmute your faces. Hot mics, hot mics, hot mics. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, guys? How you doing? What's going on? Good, we're just planning hey. spells right now. Oh, I have uh, a uh, a loading pin that I can use to make uh, fake atlas stones. So I was doing like uh, 200 and 250 pound stone carries with this thing. So my forearms hurt, my fingers hurt, my hips hurt, and my shoulders hurt. So I'm doing well. <laughs> um, big things start hard to move. <laughs> <laughs> Marty says I'm the demon host. Sometimes I think he's saying I'm the demon host, Marty. Exactly. Oh, do you want to hear a demon host, Marty? I'm the demon host, Marty. <laughs> All right, I have a new toy. <laughs> uh, nice. I have, to use it, I have to use it sparingly because <laughs> there's so many voices in here. Look at my toy! Look at my toy! I, I I think we should establish like some rules for this. Is that I'm not going to use this for any voices that are already established, like for for NPCs. They'll have to be for new for for new creatures. I think that's a good way to do it. Okay. Uh, there's okay. one effect I want to use in the arena during the announcements, though. Uh, I, I think you guys will will uh, um, forgive me for that. Um, I'm gonna try not to like break into squirrel voice because it's fucking hilarious. Bunch <laughs> 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 of monk voices, just like yeah, I'm twelve. It's funny. That <laughs> <laughs> chip. Well, it is fun to do like pick. The chipmunks, the chipmunk voice, but then the chipmunks talking about obviously adult content. <laughs> right, there is something like that. So if you like the chipmunk voice, I was playing around with Twitch Sings beta. I'm, uh, our channel is in the Twitch Sings beta, and I was able to use voice mod while I was doing karaoke. So I did Love Shack and um, uh, at the an MC Hammer song uh, um, while doing the the chipmunk <laughs> voice so uh, those, those videos are up there for you to go and watch if you if you need to laugh was a little it, bit was it you you can't touch this you can't touch you this yeah it was it was, <laughs> it was it was it was you can't touch this um touch this. yeah uh i also did pink floyd with like a, a like singing through a megaphone and it actually uh uh when marty gets too loud i can hear yeah, a sharp you, crackle you, interesting yeah the, Adding this, adding this into the scheme, he has has fucked up his sound quality, Fox. But he's still really mm. happy, so I wasn't going to tell him. Oh <laughs> shit! Because he's really happy. Uh, shit. We've, got a, we've got another fly in haste to go around. Uh, boys. Pick, pick let, let me see if I can to. reduce background noise and reduce the volume. Uh, how about now? It's your, I think it's oh, the gain's too high. The gain's too high. Um, 
yeah, that would be that would be my first my first thing because you're you're clipping you're clipping the waves. Give haste. Okay. Uh, but you were so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. How about now? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, you have to, you have to get excited. <laughs> oh, I have to be really. Oh yeah, it does clip. Shit. Uh. Yeah. I don't know if I can uh, turn this off midstream though. Adam, mm. I'm gonna give you haste. Hmm. Mm. Uh, Zed or fleece. I I okay. think it's better I'll, for Zed. I'll fiddle if it gets really bad. Okay. I'll give fleece fly cool. because he's not much of a hitter. You are a good hitter. <laughs> Zed Zed can hit hard and tank hard and blow hard and move I hard. Want, I want. All right. How is how is everyone doing? Let's and do and the. How'd you do? We haven't talked since Saturday. Uh, what's going on? Uh, I've been thinking about game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you have Ahmed. <laughs> I, I have the IMs to prove it. <laughs> In the emails, <laughs> also emails. <laughs> Uh, nothing. I'm I'm traveling uh, tomorrow, and that's why we're not having, I guess, Saturday game. Sorry, guys. But other than that, Mark, what's going on? Well, well I, I I'm now upset we're not having Saturday game. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you should yeah. be sorry. It's okay, guys. You should be sorry, <laughs> and you should be very grateful that I don't know where you're going because I will be there. <laughs> we um, <laughs> we get. I get MLK Day off t on Monday, so basically this is a long weekend for me. Oh, nice. No, that's good. So we could play, play Sunday. on Sunday. I could play Sunday, yeah. I can play a little bit on Sunday. <laughs> Actually, uh, if we start early enough, like 6 and go to like midnight, and six hours for me, plus, yeah, okay. Adam, does Sunday work for you? Uh, there's no Adam anymore. We've lost the Adam. We've lost the Adam. Where do you go? Come on, Adam, get back here. Adam's like, I don't want to take part in this conversation about <laughs> what we're playing on a non-standard I'm, day. I'm out of here. I'm trying to figure out why I have, like, robo voices for everyone. So I'm mostly trying not to pull a stupid face for when my camera, like, will inevitably freeze from shit internet. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. that's, yeah. that's not right. Hey, look, we went from all red bars to all green bars. Hey, look at that. And I've got Adam in Mark's spot and Mark in Adam's spot. It's not really How could you tell us apart? Adam, what's going on, man? Uh, I was, I've been, I've been working a little bit too hard, and I've, I've got a new training toy for the gym, and I've made my forearms hurt, and my grip hurt, and my hips kind of sore. Um, I've got a way to create atlas stones out of plates. Um, and I was doing 200 and something pound uh, stone lifts and carries. Um, and it's just, everything's a little bit like, hey, you did a new thing and it was hard. And, you know, everything's just a little tender. That's all. Just a little, just a little tender. I didn't know just what little, an atlas hey, stone hey, is. Hey, how are you? Atlas stone? Uh, an atlas stone. Yeah, they're like, a, a, it's a big fucking rock that you pick up and they're hard to hold because it's round and they normally weigh somewhere between 200 and 400 pounds. Jesus. So this would be like a little one, so it's like 250 pounds or so. Um, it would take and you're two of me to move that, maybe even three. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not working. Well, well, the, the idea is basically if you can pick up an atlas stone, you can if you can pick up the 200-pound atlas stone, you can basically pick up a 200-pound almost anything because it's a big awkward shape and it's really far out like it, it hits you in the knees so you have to like pick it out way over like in the when they say lift with your knees not your back it's like the opposite of that <laughs> it's your knees can't do a damn thing for you you fucked oh so it's just a big round sphere on the ground so i can just, yeah. I can just bear hug it and stand up right Exa yeah exactly but for me anyways <laughs> well the thing is so it weighs more it's than you so when you try to bear hug it and stand up that doesn't work because it's 200 pounds well, the first one, the little ones, well, the two, this one was 240 two something. I outweigh it. It'll still tip you over. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't want it, you want it to tip forward, not back. <laughs> yes. You get the shit squeezed out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's fun because it, it, it feels like picking up that feels like picking up like a 500 pound bar or something, like in terms of like the equivalence. It's, it, it's really hard. All right, so let's do a recap of uh, last game then. 
Um, Everything awesome happened, and Arlen's a big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, did you did you catch up? Did you watch last episode? Yes, I, I watched it uh, okay. the next day. Cool. Uh, the episode was called "The Devil You Know." Lord Bane grows impatient with his underling Sindara, the civilized house of the Grim Goblin. He makes a shokan offer for one of the Conclave's gladiators with hints of future deals. Magnus enrolls his gladiators in the summer, uh, in the summer season's end match. Sid spies on the Grim Goblin and discovers that Sindara's, nays, Sindara's days are numbered. In Terra's lean, Damien speaks with the ancient general about the crypt of the Iron Medusa and what may be found within. We'll do that conversation probably first. The Circus of Dread gathers their gladiators and teleports to Vatopol, just in time to register for the summer season's end match. Damien's family arrives in town. Six discovers that there is unrest amongst the masked theologians. The Arithnolites are preparing for the mass to end all masses. Death priests speak of miracles to the east, and a bravado amongst the Ola Damarans is preaching rebellion. Arlen visits the Conclave compound and meets with Ashoka. <laughs> An attempt to forge a temporary alliance is proposed. Um, well, I guess a, a temporary alliance is proposed, but nothing is agreed upon and, and threats are made. Why have an alliance when you can have blackmail instead? <laughs> the gladiators in Vatapol prepare for the mighty team match. And that is where we left things off. So, uh, Damien, this is going back to... Hey, Lucas, how's it going? Uh, this is going back to uh, Terrasleen. Yeah. And uh, you're, you're asked to go to the Wave, which was the name of the pub. Okay, I'm sure you um, <laughs> There was like a, a nervous-looking servant asking you to go there. Very well. Um, on whose request... Uh, uh, the general. Which general might that be? The general. Ah. Yes, then. Um, very well. I shall make my way there. <laughs> okay. Um, when you arrive there, he's sitting alone um, at, at the bar. There's a creepy cup in his gauntleted hand. He takes a sip from it slightly. Um, he then, he then, he then wipes his lips, uh, very carefully with his, uh, with his offhand in a very, very, uh, practice motion. Okay. Almost secondhand motion. He doesn't even turn around and you notice that one of his ears just sort of like flicks a little bit. All right. That's creepy. <laughs> General, you requested my presence. His his foot just unhooks from the chair that he's sitting at, and he kind of kicks the chair beside him off to the side, uh, kind of indicating he wants you to sit. Damien sits down. Is there a bartender or something? There's no bartender, but there's a lot of like uh, like wine bottles and drink bottles on carts, and he's sitting yeah, up he's at the Yeah, he's just going to grab something from over the bar and a drink and pour himself something. <laughs> okay, the thing, the thing that the general is staring right across from is that along this wall, there's this beautiful fresco painting of a sunset over Terra's lean. Okay. Could be a sunrise. You'd have to think about where your orientation is and that sort of thing. Yeah. It looks like Terra's Lean of old. Uh, you don't see any, like, imperial banners. Uh, you actually see the uh, the face of the Palerite symbol hanging between the two spires of the uh, uh, of Terra's Lean. The face that... Uh, I don't know if Damien knows that Arlen knows where it is, but anyways. Something that was missing. You're like, ah, that wasn't there when we arrived. Yeah. That's not there anymore. Kind of, kind of makes sense. The five phase god might um, take down the big, the, the the big and obvious signs of other deities. <clears throat> Van Imp is an important imperial family, isn't it? So my father keeps telling me. You're going to the wrong crypt. 
Uh, I, I beg your pardon? Yes, I'm sure there are interesting things in the crypt of Duke Heramil. But the crypt you actually want to go to is a different one in the north. And which crypt might this be? It is called the Tome of the the Tomb of the Iron Medusa. The name of the Imperial family that was buried there is the Adela clan. Three families were buried there. By order of the undying emperor himself. And what is it we should find in this tomb of the Iron Medusa? The family tried to become kings, thinking that they could seize power, thinking that they could resurrect old ways. As you know, the Undying Emperor and the Imperium suffers no king. I'm well aware. For this, the entire family clan earned damnatio. Hmm. Uh, Damien can give me a knowledge uh, nobility. I will take 10 and get a 19. I'm certain damnatio is a good thing. <laughs> Damnatio is kind of, uh, damnatio is to nobility in the empire as excommunication is to, um, religion in the empire. All right. Uh, it means that your family name is stricken from all records and you are disappeared. And this ends up being, like, sometimes entire families, and in this case, an entire clan, which means, um, uh, multiple families. Okay. The entire family, living and dead, were gathered up and buried at their family crypt. Uh, you uh, should ask yourself, why instead of a dark pit were they allowed to keep their wealth? Why did the Imperials spend money on traps? There are many things to find there. Many things related to an obsession of the elders of the Adela clan, including this shadow magic that you and your friends seem to be so bent on finding. We just that, seek answers. Yes, and I'm sure you'll get some there. However, my information comes with a price you notice by this point he's actually like clutching his cup and you can hear the uh the iron of the cup kind of like grinding like he's starting to bend it i take it this price is going to be more than coin there is a sword in that crypt something that i most dearly miss it should not have been buried with the Adelas. Does this sword have a name? Yes, and names are important to this sword. <clears throat> it is known by Infernus as one offshoot of this family may have been corrupted by creatures from the pit. Hmm. Uh, knowledge, no, uh, planes, do you know what he's talking about, or are you... Uh, he, he's got knowledge planes, uh, 19. Yeah, he, he's making reference to hell. Um, a knowledge religion? 19. 
you're on the cusp of like good answers, right? You yeah, realize yeah, just, just, just one more level, Marty. Um, one more level. <laughs> you are uncertain whether or not it's legal or illegal to worship devils. You, you've always, you always like growing up. You always hear that demon worship is like anathema, and it's even even yeah. just saying worshiping demons is, is like <laughs> said in hushed tones and and uh, whispered tones. But uh, devil worship, you suspect that with all the imps kind of flying around, that there's some someone's doing it. <laughs> some like dark underbelly to a certain part of the Imperium that may allow this type of thing. Okay. Uh, worshipping devils, though, is, is is like, is is kind of bizarre to you. Yeah, I think in Damien's mind it's just a politically a safer bet to go with the five base god. <laughs> this sword has answers that I have been craving for a long time. Very well. Go to this tomb with your friends and get me this blade. And where might I find this tomb? See, how do I ask this question without giving it away? Um, I believe this is one of the places that the Shadow Moon Priestess visited. Ah. Very well. He just starts nodding. We shall find the Shadow Moon Priest then. Or priestess. <clears throat> One last thing. And his iron grip on the cup actually slams down on, on the wrist on your table and, and like your initial instinct is to kind of pull it back. Mm -hmm. Not without combative struggle would you be able to pull <laughs> pull your arm back. His hand is <laughs> coal, a cold and cloying and, and he's now looking directly at you. Do not bargain with this sword. It is for me to bargain with. Is that understood? Yes. Now, touchies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, he, he, he relaxes a little bit, but also give me a will save. Uh, I'm going to use my charmed. Come uh, on. If Sam could do it, you could do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, wrong page here. Sorry. My crappy little <clears> save, <throat> cause I've got no wisdom. Is a whopping uh, eight. All right, uh, twelve. Okay, you need a twenty-two. Twenty-four. Nice. Yeah, okay, boy. so you managed to joke it off, like, "Oh, touchies." Um, for a brief moment, you heard yourself repeating, like, in your own mind, uh, the general's words about, uh, like, "Don't bargain with the sword. Don't bargain with the sword. Don't bargain with the sword." And he just lets you go, and then turns back to his drink. There's no need for that. I'm a man of my word. You see. Thank you for this information, gentlemen. Now, Damien doesn't know if uh, you guys have permission to go and loot through some tomb. Uh, this is the type of thing that if you're caught and you're not supposed to be there, uh, rooting through a, an imperial noble's ah. uh, tomb, uh, yeah, that... But... If, if you were caught and this was not allowed, um, there, there, there seems to be more questions about who, who are the Adelas. However, seeing as they were stricken from every record, 
They were excommunicado or whatever. They were it's da- not dam- a tomb damnado. Yeah, they, they don't exist. It's not really a tomb. Okay, it's so, just a cave. so Damien's um, lawyer trained mental gymnastics are starting to go off, and he has already a path um, uh, for innocence. Uh, in in mind, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> excuses and cases to go yeah. and, to go and explore this place. Um, curious that the general just doesn't go there and go get it himself, um, if it's yes. so important. Well, I'll take the help. Perhaps this cave has daylight between him and it. <laughs> He's also an elven vampire, and you've seen him sitting in the bar during the day. So, Maybe the mithril protects the elven vampires from the light. Or maybe I get my ass kicked really hard by elven vampires the first time. I uh, you, you guys have already fought an elven vampire, remember? The, uh, the archer? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he may be some unique creature. You're not sure what his weaknesses or powers are. Uh, you do know that some ancient pact... Uh, that happened when he um, uh, when he um, surrendered to the Imperium has kept him for the rest of his existence to serve the ruler of Terra's Lane forever. Okay. Yeah. In, so in a thousand years, he's going to be even more mad. There'll be nobody here, just him serving a fucking chair. <laughs> Now, normally you swing swords and kill things with it. Normally swords are not things that you bargain with. Yeah, Yeah, we'll be carrying that thing in a sack. (laughs) Uh, But he did give you... you So does that mean you want to? He did give you the name of the sword, which he called um, Infernus. But you, you... I don't know, you can give me a sense motive. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Josh. <laughs> At a thirty four in a sense motive. Holy shit. Okay. Uh he it's like he gave you the pet name for the sword and not the real name of the thing. You get the sense he doesn't want you digging too much into what this thing is. Okay. Fast forward, you meet up with you meet up with uh, Arlen. You saw how that conversation went, uh, and you're like, "Oh, I got something to talk about." Oh, it's just lawyer, uh, <laughs> lawyer, uh, um, uh, uh, client uh, confidentiality. Everyone's like yeah. groaned at that. And then you had the beginning of that conversation with Arlen. Like, we really need to check out this other tomb up north. Not not the one of the Duke, but this tomb of the Iron Medusa. I had Damien share that because yeah, I picture that he wants an army of adventurers around him. <laughs> When oh, he goes oh, into yes. the dungeon. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> he does. Uh, so you, you told him that, and then your family showed up, and then it was all like, oh, mumsy, and, <laughs> and, and, and all that. So, so that, w- that was the catch-up of uh, what Zophiel, the, uh, the black or, or the general, uh, had to say to Damien. Um, so we can cross that off the list. General. I believe that Ashoka wanted to have a conversation with Scarab off to the side. Uh, that was at least what was told to me. Yep. So we will go to Vatapol. And this is um, um, like a couple days before the fight. Uh, D- Damien's family had already arrived. This is also after um, uh, uh, Arlen had come and proposed a, a, a plan to Ashoka. Um, we'll say this is actually the day before the fight. So you already had your sending to go, to go, are you sure? And then Arlen sure? said something along the lines, don't worry, I'll talk to Magnus. But like, no, <laughs> like it was just like completely have you, have you, I didn't say that. He, he said something that was conflicting. So it was, have you reconsidered? And it's yes, we'll figure it out on fight day or something like that. Like, <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's what he said. Yeah, we'll see you in the arena. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. So, yes, I have. We're not doing it. All right. Scarab, you can see is, uh, you can hear him in his room, and he's getting his armor ready. He's, like, cleaning it up and changing out a few straps and and just uh, 
just getting things ready. Nem looks up at you as he was just sitting there reading reading a book that you had just finished reading, and he, he's like reading it afterwards. <laughs> Krakus. Huh? Yeah. Might I have a word? Uh, sure. He puts his stuff down, walks over, forearms on his hips. <laughs> You are a magnificent creature. I have a proposition. Come to think of it, this conversation might have sounded a little strange. That's fine. It involves a lot of money. Oh, I like those kinds of conversations. There are upstarts that need to be taught a lesson. And uh, you want uh, yours truly to be... Uh headmaster at this particular school? You've already shown a, a firm hand when it comes to discipline of unruly children. It's what happens when you're not polite. A two-talent bonus for any member of the circus that you remove from the fight. So, uh... You want me taking my uh, slashing sword or my smacking sword? Up to you. Not my concern. Okay. <clears throat> five. Okay. Five if you get the healer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they, they crumple like a house of cards, those ones. <laughs> <laughs> that, You're on. <laughs> that one you can't kill. Uh, all right. I'll bring them both. <laughs> Good luck, Go get him, Go get him I'm, Sam. I'm gonna Ric Flair this shit right now. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 uh, that's funny, Drake. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, Gracchus is happy with that. Yeah, bonus. He's always up for a bonus. <laughs> Uh, now, Gracchus has wings, oh. my you. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Might have done a new toy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help myself. I <laughs> Can't help. Uh, <clears throat> okay, right. was that, that, was, was, that, that was the conversation? The, okay, that was that's, the entirety of the conversation. That's Although it, was, it started out as a questionable sort of... It, was phrased incorrectly or completely correctly depending on your point of view in the first couple of sentences. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're fan magnificent. I have a proposition for you. You could make some money. <laughs> <laughs> Damien's family is in town. Uh, he ends up he ends up going to the Crystal Golem estate where they decide that they're going to stay. Uh, one of the leaders of the um, the Imperial City Ludi, and namely uh, Davin Bane or Lord Bane, is also staying there, and it's like, yeah, there's another fucking snake, snake man, weird. Um, so there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, security at the Crystal Golem Estate. Um, Do I you... know who uh, Davin Bane is from Vinvasa? Um, did have you spent time from, in the Imperial from... City, or are you from the Imperial City? I'm from the Imperial City. Yeah, give me a knowledge local uh, uh, Vinvasa or... I will take 10. Oh, can I? No, I can't do jack of all trades yet. Shit. Uh, I don't have... Or do I have that? I'm going to check. Kate's rolling that much, and I appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I don't have it. He wants to use the bard power to just take ten on the rolls. And just, oh yeah. Just, yeah, just give a number. Just, just give just me just the information, the Marty. <laughs> <laughs> just, just tell me. Yeah, I don't. I don't have it. Can you? Can you make bardic knowledges untrained? Uh, Do a bard it, knowledge. Like it, a bard it's, knowledge. It's knowledge local yeah. or um, any sort of profession gladiator. Uh, no, he doesn't have that. Rank the the guy's technically not a lord, so it's not knowledge nobility. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's a B plus bardic knowledge. Uh, five. Eighteen. 
Uh, yeah, you you recognize uh, um, uh, one of the Lannisters of the other Ludi. They're called the Ebon Shroud, and the Ebon Shroud has a reputation for being ruthless. They're the type to like do undercutted things and anything to win, and people who piss them off always get it in the end. And you know, so he's um, you're not quite sure why he's here with an eighteen. I don't know, but I'm a fan of his work. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> nice. Uh, you do see that he's there. He's got a lot of his own his own guards, which look like ex gladiators that may be um, uh, maybe just a little bit past their prime, but still quite uh, still quite strong looking. Of course, um, the Van Imp family guard are allowed to have guns, so it's like yeah, gladiators with swords and shields versus a bunch of trained cracked uh, cracked troops with. Uh, uh, with muskets and pistols, you know, you know who's going to win that fight. Uh, and your your entire family is here. Well, not your entire family. Your brother isn't here. He's probably dealing with his uh, with his um, his marriage. Um, <laughs> they they are. You know that your mother and father are expecting children, expecting them to have children, and that just delights uh, Damien uh, to no end. Um, I'm sure they'll be beautiful, mother. <laughs> the reason why this delights to no end was it was supposed to be an arranged marriage between Damien and this other woman. And this woman was incredibly, how shall we, how shall we say, homely and um, aesthetically uh, challenged. Challenged. <laughs> and Damien did whatever he could to get out of it, ended up getting out of it, and his brother basically hates him for it. Uh, Damien gets along with his sister. You, it's, it's curious that they're all here, and you're even surprised that uh, um, uh, your father is here as well. He, he would You're... actually be frightened that his father is here. <laughs> yep. Uh, your father is busy complaining about uh, the quality of the food that was just served, uh, that was just served to him. Um, and he's, um, he isn't quite at the point where he's throwing a fit, but he, you realize that the fit is growing. And at this point, most of the family's avoiding him. Uh, uh, Measley is cleaning, is cleaning something. You don't know why he's cleaning in their establishment, but it looks like, uh, your mother and your sister have him cleaning a booth before they sit down. Okay. Uh, Mumsy? Um, oh, what? there you are. I, I, I don't know why you didn't, and she kind of chubs your cheeks. You're, you're getting thin again. Well, it's, 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 it's. It's not thin. It's it's just I'm I'm losing a little bit of the the chub from being you know, not moving around. I move around all the time now. <laughs> Mum, I think I see a grey hair. Says your sister. You liar! <laughs> oh nonsense! He's he's too young for that. Your father has your father has nearly a grey hair on his head. Not wonder that. What is father doing here a anyway? Um... We decided to come on vacation, she says, and ooh, your mum's lying to you. There was a way that she said vacation and the, the worry on her face as she glanced over to your father. Something's up. Father did not choose to come to Vatapool on vacation, mother. <laughs> Told you he'd find out. Oh, not here. There are ears and non-humans everywhere. Oh, and we brought oh, yes, you. This we, place is, we brought you your. With <laughs> we brought you your measlies. Thank you. It's been so long. I really thought he'd die before I got back. <laughs> Look he at him; he's so frail. <laughs> I don't know what you see in him. Measles, come over here. You, you can hear us talking about you. Uh, yes. He comes over and he just sort of stands there. He, he's trying hard not to look at Damien. Hello, Measley. Uh, hello, my lord, he says. As, as, as It's almost like he's exhaling with just utter uh, soul-crushing defeat that he, that he is once again before uh, um, Master Damien. Measley? Do you know what my favorite ballet is? Oh, I've been calling him measles. Oh, did you give him measles? No, but I'm pretty sure he gave other people measles. I'm sure he did. Naughty measly. Uh, I'm sorry, my <laughs> lord, he says. <laughs> I didn't uh, mean to. But you didn't answer my question. What's my favorite ballet? Uh, does he know this? No. Uh, 
my load. Zoom. Too long. It's the nutcracker, and he kicks him right in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> oh! the, the, the old man crumples to the ground in pain, um, and just sort of lies <laughs> lies next to the booth for a while. Um, apparently. This has gone on for so long that that it, it not only bores Lady uh, Lady Van Imp, but it, like she doesn't even see it. Um, Anastasia just she's just grinning at you. Oh, Damien, I missed you, and she gives you a big hug. I missed you too. He hugs her back. Yep. <sighs> You're gonna have to show me around this dump. Yes, well, there are some finer places. Uh, certainly, the Ludus is not one. I did warn you in my in my letters. Are these gladiators? <laughs> she says, and she goes over. She's like <laughs> going over and like feeling the arm of one of the gladiators who's just standing there. <laughs> He's, I... She's now having a conversation with uh, with with Devin Bain. Yeah, your mother's kind of fearless in that she'll just go up and talk to people because she's a noble she... woman. Yeah, and she doesn't think she can be touched. Yes, I yep. understand. Oh, and the few that have insulted her, well, then she goes whining to Lord uh, Van Imp, and he yep. handles it. Measley is still kind of on the ground, sobbing, sobbing slightly. So, what is it oh. you do around here? Well, there's um, this place is rather nice for Vadapol, of course. Um, I've heard good things about a place called the Retreat. Haven't had time to go there myself. Um, we can talk a wizard into a teleportation. I'd love you to see the, uh, this little by the lake. It's amazing. This little by the lake? That's far from here. Yes, but teleportation makes it so quick. I was there yesterday. I wonder why we didn't teleport here. Do, do we not have a wizard anymore? Mm, no, we've... Um... She kind of pulls you off to the side. We barely have servants anymore. What? Um, father's been under a lot of strain. <laughs> what kind of strain? <laughs> I don't know what he's gotten himself wrapped up into, but, um... He works long hours, is sort of a nervous wreck, and, well, he's been drinking. You know how he gets when he's drinking. Yes. You can just yeah, see him yeah. sitting at the booth, at a booth, just sort of, like, rubbing his temples, and there's a, uh, uh, a crystalline glass in front of him, half drank. <clears throat> Perhaps we'll leave him be for the evening, then. Huh. Apparently we had to make a big show of us leaving, and we had to ride all the way here I swear you think the Imperium would patch the roads it was the bumpiest trip ever I don't know how you made it on horseback <laughs> she shrugs yes well you horses on roads ride. she smiles uh, if you call them a, roads. A, a lot of your early horseback riding was riding around in fields that you yeah. owned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on showy ride horses. <laughs> Not clopping on roads to go places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, she She's wise enough that she knows her joke is, is like, like, she, she says the noble thing almost tongue in cheek. Uh, she's yeah. a little bit more worldly than, uh, than her mother or, and father are. She's also interested in seeing the, the, as much as she might complain about it, she's interested in seeing the dirty, kind of smutty underbelly of this place. She gets bored easily. Perhaps you and I should go out to the retreat. Um, well, not tonight. When are the games? Uh, the, this is... Um, the um, day before? The day the... before the games. Shit. I have to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come with me? Uh, yeah, if, if there's anything that we can, yes, let's go shopping. You Excellent. and you, she points and two guards come forward and, and like stand at attention. We're going shopping. Bring bags. The guards Look. listen to her. And... Well, actually, they turn to, to Lord uh, Puanguo and he just sort of nods. 
So you've got an armed escort while you're going shopping. That's really not necessary. No, Daddy insists that I always go with at least two guards. I am a lieutenant in the art. Oh, fine. <laughs> no, people with guns. She looks at you. <laughs> I know magic. <laughs> Whatever he's gotten into, I think some of his ploys against the other family houses haven't gone so well, she says quietly. Uh, I see. He's lost some... You realize that we had boats? I, I knew that, yes. I didn't know we had boats. Well, we don't have boats anymore. They're that bad. Well, yeah, I think they got hit by pirates or something. Oh, shit. Almost like they were... I overheard a conversation that they were targeting our flag specifically. The question is, who's paying the pirates? I don't know. <laughs> Did a large man with a magnificent beard fly up and take your boat away and then just fly away with it? <laughs> uh, I'll talk to father. Why? He's... You, you're, you're a pirate too, she says. Like, She's making reference to the fact that you're in the army, you're a gladiator, yeah. you came out to battle pole, and you became all these things that you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't put it past you, having a bunch of fun without me, and she gives you a punch in the arm. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll see what kind of fun I have tomorrow. Oh, she says... She's she's complaining as you're as you're now taking her shopping. Um, oh my word! We must get you decent tickets. I don't want you sitting up with the farmers and butchers. Come, oh. we must see the commissioner, and and I have to go shopping. <laughs> okay. Um, any delicious intrigues at mass? At mass. Yeah, I, church. I, and she points up at the... That thing. She points up at the Towers of Faith. Which well, I don't think you've ever stepped in. <laughs> no. no I, you know, I, honest to God, I've been meaning to, but there's always something to do that week. <laughs> um, Real life. You, you didn't convert <laughs> to the old gods, did you? She looks like, like, like this is shocking, but also take, juicy information. Take that back. I just... Uh, Happen to have befriended a bunch of heretics is all. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to introduce me. Well, Do you know any met... wizards? Father uh, yes. insists that I continue my eldritch training, as he says. The, the really stuffy stuff is the theory. I hate the theory. I just want to use magic. Oh, I've got just the wizard for you. Eggie's the best with books. <laughs> <sighs> There was one wizard, I swear, I almost killed him. <laughs> he was, he was, he, he was more interested in, it was really weird. He was a man and he was interested in me, but he was interested in me for my body. Well, not, you know, like a normal man might be, but, um, interested in the blood and the source behind my magic. It got to the point where I was either going to stab his throat out or, um, yeah. Or something. I only got as far as stabbing his throat out. <clears throat> oh, well, these things happen. Did you know that we have special blood? Well, yes, it's noble blood. Of course, it's special. Well, no, it's um, sorcerer blood? I was not aware of that. Well... Apparently, it skipped generations, and now it's in me, she says. And I uh, think that creepy old wizard wanted to take it out. Yes, let me introduce you to a wizard who won't do that, and likely won't even be interested in your body, to be honest. So, I'm a, some sort of sorcerer, I guess. Not a wizard, but Daddy insists well, that I take training. To learn about magic, you... but apparently sources just do it if they say the right words. Well, there's certain advantages to understanding magic hmm. versus just doing I... it. It's interesting. It's just not, well, doing the magic is much more fun. 
Well, I do tend to agree with that. <clears throat> it might explain why you became a bard. She says, like, it's a dirty word. <laughs> First of all, I have you know, I'm a very good bard, all right? Very good. Uh, dreams of becoming the court jester for the Undying Emperor. I have no words for you right now. <laughs> I thought the, the shopping was that way. Why are you dragging me down down into the city? Isn't this where the poor people live? <laughs> As you're going to see the commissioner? Are you yes. bringing Measley along or not? Yes, Measley has to come along. Okay. So he gets to his feet and is carrying some empty bags and baskets. Ah, finally, and... I no longer have to lock on my own doors. Oh, yes, my lord, I'll do for you. Uh, 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 with the forehead. Yes, of course. I, I, what a ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. I, I, I apologize. I've forgotten too much time away. <laughs> <laughs> the door, like what the fuck are you doing? Just come in. <laughs> and, and Anastasia chuckles not because it's funny, but because she misses her brother's antics. Um, as the evil brother and sister uh, have, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm qualifying your characters. <laughs> uh, so, evil, yeah. properly, properly doing so. Does. Does, is this is his cohort, right? Yes. Yes. It's his... Does he have a headbutt attack? Because he he needs a headbutt attack, like a. No, he has no headbutt attack. <laughs> Barbarian rage. Barbarian rage with an extra he's just, attack. He's just sitting there with his hand over his head, like it like it's sore. Uh, there are halfling servants scurrying around. Uh, let's see how available the. Um, uh... Okay, you catch the Dimitri as he's leaving his office. Oh, uh, oh, I'm so glad I caught you. <laughs> Lieutenant, I only have a... Uh, and he actually opens up a little pocket watch and he looks at it. I only have five minutes. Um, what can I do for you? I was just hoping I could uh, persuade you to give me um, a few minutes before that we... Uh, and allow me to personally introduce the Dread Circus. You mean in tomorrow's games? Yes, yes. I will be... Well, fortunately, it is an honor that the Commissioner uh, gets to introduce all the gladiators tomorrow, and there will be quite a crowd there, as I understand. The Duke uh, has returned from his from the war up north, uh, and, and all the nobles and ladies and, and priests and, and officials will be there. I would be remiss to um, um, allow a neophyte introducer... Uh, take the pulpit tomorrow. Now, I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. He drops two talents in his pocket. <laughs> oh, uh, well, it is not unheard of for others to write the introductions for gladiators. <clears throat> I am permitted to bring scrolls and books and... Um, um, notes while I am up there. No one will notice. Well then, here you go. <laughs> and I hand him what I gave you. I guess you'll have to do... <laughs> oh, what is this? It is the introductions. Oh. Um, he pats his pocket. It's written as though I were going to give it, though, so you'll have to... Um, Don't worry, I... For me. I have the utmost faith, Commissioner. <laughs> He's like, don't worry, I can figure it out. <laughs> he, he pats his pocket and... Uh, you oh, know. and feel free to embellish my family's here this time. <laughs> ah, is this... Um... Oh, my apologies. Let me introduce my sister, Lady Anastasia Van Imp. Oh, charmed. And he, he, he does a very polite handshake. Um, she does the... The female version of the handshake, and yeah. uh, uh, who is this? <laughs> Anastasia, this is uh, Vadapol's Commissioner of Games, uh, Mr. Dmitri Vaska. Ah, pleasure to serve. Mm, indeed, she says. Can we go shopping now? 
not realizing that this guy's important to your to your uh, to doing things. Dimitri doesn't seem to be it seemed to mind um, if he, if he has taken offense to this minor. Uh, well, I'm sure you're quite busy. What with the oh yes, I need to check on. Um, um, apparently hiring wizards from out of town is, uh, not something you should do. I figured that Phineas wasn't up to setting up 64 traps. Um, apparently they're going to fall a bit short of the order. 64 fucking traps. <laughs> yes, Fuck. uh, I heard that they're putting the finishing touches on the last, uh, 40 to 50 of them. 48, I think, is the final number. I suppose it'll have to do. Easily? Prepare me a fly extract for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yes. So, would I, would I return? <clears throat> Is this that rehashed? To some extent. <laughs> Is Measley a, uh, an alchemist? <clears throat> no, he's not. Alchemist who doesn't drink a single one of his infusions? He's got infusions. Oh, no, he drinks one every day. It's called age resistance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, Master, I, I shall do this. Uh, and he also makes your mutagen for you, your spare mutagen. No, he doesn't do that. He doesn't make mutagens. Oh, he's a um, um, break. Uh, investigator. Okay. Investigator, thank you. Okay. okay. All right, uh, Dimitri. Dimitri um, notices the two guards. It doesn't say anything, and he's off to go and check on traps. Um, Apparently he hired, as he said, some contractor wizards from out of town uh, to, to make the traps. And maybe right. he did it because uh, Phineas still has close ties to the Conclave and didn't want didn't want possible cheating, and, or maybe he he was trying to make a buck uh, and took a and took help from, <laughs> from other places. Um, this place stinks, and that man is not a noble, <laughs> and this no, isn't a place is. to shop. <laughs> Fine, we're going shopping now. <laughs> I will take you to the market. Uh, out of curiosity, Marty, how did she react to the two talents he dropped? Uh, he, he he padded his shirt. How did she a... react? How did she react? Um, she... Uh, like, two talents is not even a thing that she would pr blink at. That's pocket change for her. She noticed, but it wasn't like, oh my god, two talents. It's like, oh, he's doing business. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I want to get to the fight. So uh, Damien's looking to buy a druid's potion of neutralized poison because he saw the venom manticore. <laughs> <laughs> neutralized poison is what you want? Okay. Uh, ideally, he'll settle for a delay poison if he can't uh, find that. You have a droid. Yeah, but... You have a druid, you have a Grizzak. They're not the same thing. They're similar, but not the same. <laughs> okay, a neutralized poison, I believe, is a fourth circle spell. Not if you're a druid. Oh, I see. It's third circle. Okay, and potions... Oh, you want um, the cost? I'll pay extra. Uh, it is 750 gold pieces for a neutralized poison cast at 5th level. I will take that. 750. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so that was Damien dealing with his family and the commissioner. Um, you were going to go get her tickets. I guess. Yes, I want. I want her. Well, tickets for my father, mother, uh, sister, and I suppose they, they, they have to bring measly. So. <laughs> All right, you could spend um, uh, ten grand on tickets, if you wanted. And where would that get them? Uh, probably sitting with the duke. Done. He's going to spend 10 grand. Okay. They, the four of them... My father needs to make some friends with money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, so you, you go out quickly and on sort of a secondary market end up finding some gold tickets that will give you uh, access to. They're not like right beside the Duke, but the, you'll be in the editor's pulpit with the Duke. Um, okay. You'll likely have to undergo some sort of questioning um, uh, to make sure that you're no, nobility, but you know your father is, is recognized yeah. uh, and you've got a strong name. Uh, okay, so that was Damien on the last day before the fight, uh, kind of busy with his sister and uh, making some final arrangements. It looks like Sid is the next person on my list of uh, people who have stuff to do. Oh, sorry, very, very quickly, he is going to send a note to Magnus, very briefly just saying, sorry I almost forgot to, uh, sorry I forgot to mention it, but I'm fighting for another team again, see you on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Stab you later. <laughs> There's a courier that arrives and gives the note to Magnus. Because I know you hate surprises. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I was in town, son of a bitch. <laughs> I thought he was out of town. I'd come back and fuck me. Where the hell is Zargon, son of a bitch? <laughs> yeah, Zargon has not returned. Uh, Sid. Sid has been watching while in bat shape. Uh, give me three um, stealth checks as you've been spying on the arena and having a look. Okay, how long are, are, are between these stealth checks? It's like, uh, like periods of the day. Like nine hours. Oh yeah, or, or this, should, this, this I, is all. I, this is all during the uh, the wake the waking hours of your uh, of your spying. Cool. Uh, okay. Three of these. The waking hours of the day. I don't know where Sid's token went. Uh, 62, 44, and 46. 62? Yeah, not wow. 20. Wow. Okay, Sid. You're, uh, you're pretty good at this. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. What are you What are you specifically watching at the arena? I'm assuming the finishing touches on the big tower like con contraption. First, first question: Can you tell their traps or not? Well, um, built into the floorboards of each of the levels of this tower like con uh, construct are um, wooden hatches with pull rings on them. So. Okay, so it's obvious what it's obvious that this is where something is. There's nothing you actually see a, for traps. You actually see a bunch of them open, and uh, you do know that wizards. You actually are watching them. You're not supposed to be in here, but you're a tiny bat. No one seems to notice uh, that there are wizards putting and painting magic over top of each and every one. It appears of these um, of these hatches. Okay. Um... What about um some of them may have already been done by this point other okay. like it, you're assuming that all of the hatches have traps on them uh do, does he know what the purpose of the game is globes does he know that you don't see the globes I don't know if he knows uh, the purpose because uh, I don't think the conclave talked about the, the talked about that uh, the conclave knows that we're supposed to to a capture the flag knockoff. We don't know that they're elemental flags. Okay. So um, morning and uh, afternoon, eventually you see the commissioner comes over and there's an argument between the wizards and the commissioner. Okay. No, I'm you can see some wizards globes. hurrying up, like there are other wizards that are hurrying up on the traps. and they're, I'm they're looking for globes. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the morning period, um, you're really good at spying. The, the, the shadows are long. Um, as you approach uh, noon, there are less shadows. It's summertime. The sun is nearly overhead. Um, uh, you don't see any globes. Are you going to continue to watch? The hatches uh, don't have keyholes on them. It just looks like you pull just, the ring and open it. And, and there are spaces underneath. Like, there are little... Uh, um, bread box size uh, indentations or nooks where things can be put in. You do notice that the wizards have placed um, uh, there's a pile of stuff that is being carted out. And, carted out? Yeah, carted like, out towards put, here. Yep. 
Okay. And um, I'm actually looking for um, like a really impressive looking wizard, like a, and what he's working on. There's so one where, wizard that seems to, the... there's one wizard that seems to be organizing a lot of this, and there are three wizards that all have definite uh, um, age to them. Yeah, I want to know which where they're working, like what what area they're working on, which traps they've touched. No, they're all three of them are working together. Oh, the three of them are working on one. Okay, but that's easier to keep track of. Uh, the contents of um, there are some stuff that are covered in in this wagon, but you can see that there are um, um, a few little caches of potions. That there are money purses that look like uh, a number of them that are placed out. Okay. Um, there are quivers mm -hmm. of bolts and arrows. All, all in separate, all in separate uh, quivers. So they're putting supplies out. Yep. Okay. And <laughs> loot. <laughs> Correct. Cool. Incentive um, to they're, they're, opening bugs. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, there are some chests that are locked that haven't been opened quite yet. Okay. Uh, I'll, you'll keep observing. Okay. Little, little so um, they're still working on traps uh, when it comes to early evening. Are you still going to watch? They haven't done anything with the items yet. Uh, yeah, I think I have to go and reprep my potion, though, my mutagen, so I'll do that. Go prep my mutagen, come back and... Okay. Uh, it's right as your mutagen's starting to wear out, um, you do notice that one of the wizards walks over and starts opening up the chests. Okay. And you can see that in several of the chests, there are glittering and, um, glowing things. Well, now's not time to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna see where these puppies go. Okay, they they uncover uh, an orb, and the orb is crackling with uh, with fiery magic. Okay. And Sid is basically cheating and figuring out where the orbs are. Is that what is that what you're saying you're doing? <laughs> I'm a spy. So. Uh... You know how we were we were putting odds on earlier of like who we think would win, and we were like, "Hey, I don't know the, I don't know where the orbs are." Hey, we get to fight. Let's go conclave. Let's go. Let's go conclave. Let's go. Okay. Uh, what happens when your mutagen runs out? Does that affect your? I just, uh, yeah, I just, I lose two. You lose two, two on your my... your spot. Okay. Or your, yeah. Your my hide. His no, he loses two. His mutagen makes his spot worse. He takes wisdom penalties for it. Mm. Having sp <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, they start uncovering the orbs, and uh, you you get a look. You're you're not you're not hiding in this area. You're hiding along the edges, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm okay. like, so you're, you're pretty far away, so. but you do see the orbs brought out of their chests, and this is what they look like. Wait, where, where's where? I, I can't, can't see, but I can't see. Where are you looking? <laughs> are you looking in the uh, the civic arena? Looking at your pretty faces. Where do the orbs look like? Oh, they're up there. Oh, oh. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, they're gonna mess us up. <laughs> cool, very cool. You have to hold the orb between your butt cheeks and walk the <laughs> One, <laughs> the two. <laughs> Okay, give me a D sixteen. Okay. So many arrows you get in your face. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Five? Okay, so um uh Sid knows that the fiery orb is placed somewhere in this vicinity. In the first floor. On the first floor in this corner. Okay. You see it disappear and like all the hatches at this point are open. And they're now starting to place things into the hatches, and they're doing it quickly. Um, and you're only getting the gist of from your vantage point on the on the far, like you're basically like eighty feet away, trying to watch exactly where things are going. Give me yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Give me a perception check to see if you know which one of these five boxes uh, the the fire orb goes into. We'll say it's DC sure. twenty five. Uh, is this considered traps? Yeah, this is trap like, sure. Cool. 
31. Okay, they're putting the fire orb into the corner. And I'm going to just... Into the corner corner? Yep. Okay. Uh, cool. <laughs> Doing my job, guys. <laughs> I expect meta not to be... <laughs> Not to be. Yeah, uh, I'm expecting yeah. the circus not to be like. I wonder what's in that one. <laughs> no, the, 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 when the circus gets there, they have to roll the d5. You know what? What I'm going to do is actually instead of instead of pointing them out directly now to make sure that we're not meddling, uh, they place one of the orbs on each of the levels. Okay, and where's the? There's an odd one out. And then and then the top level has the second has the uh, has two orbs. Okay. So Conclave knows where they are. Or do you want me to... Uh, and and I, need, I, need th I need three more perceptions. Three more perception checks. Okay, yeah. give me a sec. Uh, Don't win too fast, boys. We still need to beat all that circus Oh, shit. 24, 20, 21, 24, 26. Sid is, um, knows where one of the glowy blue ones is and knows yeah. where the red one is. Um, you... You know that the second glowy blue one uh, is on the second level. Okay. So the fiery is on the first. The one of the blue ones is on the second. Uh, yeah. So it's like this. And you you know where the fire one is, and you know where one of the ones on the top level is, the blue one. Okay. Already when okay. you were doing your prep yesterday, did you even try to put all the dudes on the tower, like? Well, no, no. There's, uh, there's let, a, let, there's me, let me describe ladder. the tower. So these these these, these brown side. lines in behind are are a um, a webbed rope ladder that go all the way for up to the top um, uh, from the ground, and each of these is a platform flush with the level that it's on. There's something odd about the platforms. There are runes that are around the edges of the platform. Around, wait, runes around the edges of the platform? Yep. They put magic there. There's magic on each of the, the, the platforms. Can Sid try to identify that? It, you need to be closer to read them. Can I ask a question for Sid? Uh, or can I ask Mark um, a question about... These these are support pillars. These are big, these are big honking tree-like support big, big, pillars big meaty trees uh yeah that this that these are uh suspended on there is some scaffolding like there's some like cross beams and that sort of thing near near the uh near the beams uh and along the roof i wonder how burnable the uh the rope ladders are uh this <laughs> this is solid ladders that go from the floor all the way up to the top level cool okay uh the, the black lines the and is there anything in the center uh the center is open um, each platform, this platform is 20 feet off the ground. This is 40 feet off the ground. This is 60 feet off the ground. That's a long way to fall down. Is there any rule that's saying you can't reach up, smack the thing from the bottom? Uh, you haven't heard any rules. Cool. Uh, how were they handling the orbs when they were sticking them into the things? Um, they seem to have cast magic beforehand. They one guy had gloves. One guy had gloves. They were just grabbing. They just them. grabbed them and stuck them in. Yep. The little nerds could do it. We can too. <laughs> no, you don't need no protection. Still don't wear that. <laughs> they they kind of sparked with a bunch of energy when they did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, the the wizards were able to put it in. You notice that they're putting in some of the the money into into some of the hatches. They're putting uh, arrows and quivers into some of the hatches. And then you see things which are little potion bundles they're putting into some of the holes. And then there are other glowing things that will ro randomly roll up uh, when, when we come across them. Um, awesome. Yeah. That, they're, that cool. they're putting inside the trap doors. Uh, the trap doors do not look like locked. You actually see a couple times the wizards check a trap door and they, 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 op they open up the trap door without setting off the... Did any of the wizards lose their eyebrows? Nope. Um, so... Okay, all right, that's good. Um, so basically, yeah, there there are traps, and you might just have to set them off to get the shit inside. 
they're all like the stupid power word type trap where it's like there's just no way it triggers before you can even see it not tr you seeing it is a trigger <laughs> fuck i hate those things <laughs> uh yeah you get the sense that a lot of the traps are inside the cubbies like you open it up and the trap goes boom, boom. <laughs> Great. For some reason, the wizards didn't seem to have any, like, they seemed fearless of the traps. Like, they were just opening, like, they were check like, oh, did you put something in that one? I don't know. And, you know, like, they opened up the, the trap door, and you're like, oh, there's a trap there. Oh, the wind, don't get <laughs> turned into stone. Uh, they, 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 stood, they stood around for a while, and they were, like, like counting out something. You didn't quite see what was on the, the clipboard. Um, they were trying to evenly space some, some things, and they were arguing about something. You're too far away to really hear. No. I'm good. Sid's gonna fly back. Okay. Sid, uh, give me one last, uh, stealth check as you're flying away. This is without your mutagen running by this point. 54. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Like a bat, like a tiny bat <laughs> in the night, Sid. <laughs> flies home to report. Fuck you guys. <laughs> to report. Uh, yeah, you use use your abilities, man. That was a uh, that was a really good uh, use of. Nobody said we couldn't cheat. In fact, they said if we weren't cheating, was we there a trying. sign that said "keep out"? Yeah, no, there there weren't people allowed <laughs> in right. the arena. You didn't even see like like servants. There were guards. Uh, and the commissioner. Uh, oh, and... if, if there was anyone in red, fuck it, not going there. No, there were, there were no <laughs> imperial guards, like royal guards or anything like that. Uh, yeah, it was... Um... Tried that before. Yeah, no imperium <laughs> royal guards. <laughs> Every time he comes back, his <laughs> eyes are in a slightly different position. <laughs> yeah, Sid was really nervous about spying on the, uh, on the arena <laughs> and hesitant to go near the center again. So it made sense that you kept out of, like, conversation range uh, and, yeah. and were... We're hanging out uh, in the uh, in the stands, basically. Uh, you re you return, Sid, to um, uh, to the Ludus, uh, Magnus, and Ashoka. Are there, like this is the um, really late evening before the fight. <laughs> hey guys, I was out in a little exercise. Those floppy ass arms. <laughs> he starts scratching the uh, where everything is. This is what they look like. I kind of had a quick look. It was accidental. I accidentally look at where they're placing all the traps. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. After, is there? Will we role play the rest of this conversation? Because oh, you fucking fourteen! I rolled a one. <laughs> what is this? The drawing. It's sketch. It's sketch. Yeah, okay, it's kind of conceptual and not exact. Uh, so you're saying that the traps are under the trap doors with handles that you pull on? Yeah, and here's where the there's four glowing orbs. Orbs like they're bright. One is two blue, one's a green one, and a red one. I'm guessing the four elements. And oh, the, red, the red one's here on the first floor. The two blue ones are here, and the green one's up here. Guess these are important. Well, we're supposed to be capturing something. I'm guessing those would be hit then, wouldn't it? <laughs> Good job, Sid. Yeah, I know. Good job, Sid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you're cheating, though. No. <laughs> oh, I can't look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from from the crappy roll of one, you know vaguely the area, the rough area where the orbs are. You're gonna have a confused moment when you get there. You're like, there are too many trap doors. Sid said there was three, <laughs> three in this corner, and there are five. <laughs> yeah. I rolled a one. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I gotta get back to the tower. Flies <laughs> back to. Uh... To the uh... to go hide with Phineas. Yep. Well, at least the traps won't be because um... we knew about the traps. We knew about the traps a long time ago. That's why we yep. were trying to train rogues. Well, at least the traps will be something that will be more controlled. Are you planning on winning, Magnus? Uh, to be honest, I haven't decided yet. I I think so. This information is. Uh... 
well, it narrows things down for us quite easily. I mean, look, there's only like four traps here. It's, it's quite easy for us to do. Well, <laughs> do your best. Try not to die. Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. That's my motto. <laughs> <laughs> The morning, <laughs> the morning of the fight finally arrives. Um, uh, that evening, can Ashoka set uh, Lady Pants free? Set Lady Pants free? Sorry. Uh, 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 what's her name? Sindara. He wants to set Sindara free. Oh. How Call amazing. Sid. Call How? Sid. He's perfect for this. <laughs> With a invisibility and two dimension doors. <laughs> <laughs> so Shook is doing this by himself. Yep. Okay. Um, so that evening, like like in the middle of the night, Ashoka decides yep. to leave. Uh, Don't shed your skin. Yeah, I'll shed, I'll shed in the corner. It's. I'll be right there. Are you going <laughs> through the, the, the gate? The uh... gate at this time of night is closed. Use your strength and climb over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we'll use invisibility and fly. Okay. Sindara, where is her token? Her, she's her token is at the. Uh, I don't know if it's on the city, Retreat. but it's on the. Um, there you go. Okay, you can hear tro uh, some trolls roaring and laughter. Inside the cave, a bunch of goblins look like they're camped outside of the cave for some reason. Like they're not allowed to go in, but really want to go in. Okay, uh, we'll just fly into the cave. Is Nem with you or not? Uh, master's been caught. <laughs> uh, Nem is with me, but he's waiting outside. Okay, he goes over to a, a nearby building, um, which seems which seems to be abandoned. <laughs> the house is the grim goblin. This building looks like it's on the verge of being condemned, and a lot of goblins are are, are like uh, are like squatting in it. Um. We'll call this the poor goblin house. Ashoka goes inside the cave, uh, or flies, flies, flies inside the cave, avoiding some of the troll shit near near the uh, in the entrance. Oh, it stinks nope. in here. This is this is uh, adventuring. It must must. Be uh, I hate adventuring. This it must, must be, be contagious. This be important. <laughs> exactly. Ah, uh, fuck it. You can see that there are a bunch of trolls in here, all kind of laughing and drinking. Yeah, and tomorrow I'm going to treat... Do you speak giant? Do you uh, speak goblin? I speak none of those. I speak spurf, which is under common. Uh, no, I don't speak those languages. All right, you convinced me. I'll take fucking Copperhead languages next time I love them. <laughs> no giant? Nope. Goblin? Uh, nope. Nagaji, okay. Imperial Common, High Imperial, Draconic, uh, the language Akka speaks, Under Common, and Infernal. Okay, so not a lot of the languages that are spoken here. There's some broken uh, uh, common that is being spoken. Yep. But yeah, most yeah. of it sounds like troll speak. And... <laughs> this, one troll, this one troll has it out for Magnus. Well, I'm assuming uh, Magnus will kick his fucking ass like pretty much everything else that goes against Magnus. There's one, one thing that you know. Right. 
if you think you should shouldn't bet on Magnus, you should. But if you think you should bet on Magnus, you probably shouldn't. It's... Sindara <laughs> has some crappy studded leather armor on. You can see that there's a wooden shield and a and a um, a mace. There's a couple of dead goblins that haven't been cleaned up that are just around her. It looks like one of the three dead goblins, however, got dragged towards the trolls, and you don't know where the goblin body went. Although one troll is picking at his teeth, and you can see he's taking little strips of uh, leather out of his uh, out of his mouth. Uh, Sindara looks uh, sweaty, um, uh, tired. It looks like she'd been crying, and some of her dark uh, eyeshadow has sort of run down her cheeks. Um, and she is chained. There is a choker around her neck uh, that is chained to the wall. Uh, there's a, a very dirty chamber pot and a half-eaten tray of... You think it's food? Yeah, it's food. Um... <laughs> The food is crawling with at this point some maggots. This 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 cave is ripe, like like yeah. years and years of goblin stink, and now trolls are adding to it. Like this this place is like, uh, and Sindara looks absolutely miserable. <clears throat> she's she's also sleeping or trying to. Okay, I will give me a stealth check. I will give you a stealth check. That's what I'll do. Uh, I am somewhat sneaky with my spells. Forty-four. Sneaky, yeah, you, sneaky, you, you sneaky. sneak up right up right up to Sindara. She she barely even shifts or moves. You're now I right take beside a few her. moments to study her for a death strike. <laughs> well, considering <laughs> contemplating. <laughs> she she's kind of like sleeping, sitting up. Okay. Um, against the wall, her, her chains did. Her chains don't look magical on the face of them. Uh, give me a spell craft. You would have to cast a spell to really make make sure. But I don't know if you're you're whipping off a detect magic at this point. No, twenty three. Uh, there are no there are no glows. There are no inscriptions. There are no um uh um runes upon them. Um, okay. <clears throat> uh. You could see that she might have broken a nail or two trying to like like pull at it. Um, it's so she is. Um, there's a lock. There's a lock kind of around uh, around her neck. Uh, she is asleep. She is um, resting. I wouldn't call it a deep sleep. Um, would I assume she would be willing to teleport? Depends how sleep how truly asleep she is. Quiet Sindara. Okay, you're gonna risk talking. She, mm -hmm. if she at first she doesn't, she does not have an adventurer's uh, <laughs> yeah. um, um, like nerves about her. She she's like she like gives you a moan like she wants to go back to sleep or she was trying to talk. Do you want to leave? Uh, who? Who's there? She opens her eyes and she's got crust in her face and she slowly moves and, and, and wipes it up. Um, one of the trolls walks by scratching itself. It, it didn't even notice that you were there. <laughs> They're all laughing in the background at something. You can Wrong come. voice. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> 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 Where's my mouse? <laughs> Do it properly. Do it properly. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> ah, trolls. Um, Lance is gonna is gonna talk to them during the fight. Say no. <laughs> to have a little conversation. How's it going, troll? <laughs> sorry, sorry. There's one troll whose voice is so low you can't understand what it's saying. Just saying. Oh. That's what Terran sounds like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, who's there? She says. She's looking around and she kind of kicks herself awake a little bit, accidentally hitting the tray at her feet and it kind of clangs. You notice uh, there are some goblins interspersed around the, uh, the trolls, the braver goblins that have armor on. You notice one goblin comes over. Shut up! It says, it says to Sindara and then goes running back over. Oh, the goblins are 
talking yep. back to her. She's lost all, all yep. authority all, here. All authority here. You will come with me if you don't want to die in the arena. Ashoka, is that you? Okay, I will attempt to dimension door her out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah, she wants out of the fucking goblin hole. Okay. So we're going to basically nearby building that uh, Nim is waiting at. Okay. You hear the little cough from uh, from Nem. Shoka, uh, is that you? Let's have a conversation. They're going to stick me in the ring. Stick me in the arena. Stick me with all the gladiators. It's all your fault. You killed that troll, didn't you? Your Ludus took the heart. You took everything from me. Yes. Now you've come to gloat. No. You said you still had use. Contacts in the north, the east. She nods quickly. Explain. Which one? Both. Well, the goblins come from somewhere. They come from uh, far to the east. I, I know some of the goblins. They make slaves of their own people. Warring tribes, warring over other tribes. It, it's really boring, really, but I, I know some of the tribal elders and can get more goblins if that is what you want. Occasionally they have some nice things too that they get from, you know, travelers or whatever. Not that I condone banditry. And the north? Oh, that's a different one. I don't know if you want to talk to the thing that reached out towards me. Yeah, well, I'm intrigued. Maybe you do. Um, I'm not supposed to meet it for some time. In fact, it kind of said that it'll contact me when it needs me. It said it was looking for friends. It was kind of like you, but, you know, without legs and arms. And it was looking for friends? Uh-huh. Maybe I'm I could also, introduce you. I am also looking for friends, as it so stands. Excellent. So when it comes around, when it comes slithering around again, I'll introduce the two of you. Where am I going to go? I don't have my clothes. I don't have my money. Do you know who they're going to have replaced me? Who? I don't know. Do you know who, who's going to replace me, she says. <laughs> I have a feeling that the... Uh, what's the, the name that they're going to say? Lord Bane. Uh, Lord Bane. Uh, Evan Shroud. The, the Evan Shroud. I believe Lord Bane has a short list. Well, it's either that loser, Kane, or... Oh, that bitch. The one that can't die. The reincarnating one, or the... No, Mama Bloodbear. I think I was supposed to take her spot tomorrow. Hmm. As much as she wanted to give uh, Magnus a big old kiss... <laughs> Yes. Uh, is she still jarring around? She she nods. She could be anywhere. Perhaps we should meet somewhere else. Yes. Could you give me some money so I could head east? Yes. Maybe something to disguise myself? All right. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no good to you, dead. She says. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're no good to me, dead. 
Uh, Ashoka gives her two talents for travel from his own money. I'm going to need clothes and... Oh, you're going to make me travel like a peasant, aren't you? Well, at least till you get on your feet. Where am I supposed to go? Well, you have contacts and influence, remember? I suppose I'm going to go visit the goblins. Yes, I'll go and visit the goblin, she says. <laughs> it's been a while since go. they've seen their queen, after all. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> I didn't expect this from you, Ashoka. I thought we were mortal enemies. I'm not heartless. That might or may not be a... I don't know if it's a lie or not. <laughs> it's more Lord Bane. It, this is almost because Lord Bane... They didn't like Lord Bane as much. They didn't want to serve him. <laughs> more than anything else. <laughs> more out of spite of Lord Bane. Because <laughs> he showed up expecting you to serve him. <laughs> exactly. <He> just... <laughs> That's funny. We, we, we found an Ashoka button. <laughs> so of me, it's like, nope, nope, that's not how it goes. <laughs> no. <laughs> not without leverage. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so Sindara, could, could, we, could you take me near the North Gate? Oh, uh, no, actually, she points in the harbor. I think I'll take a boat. <laughs> You wouldn't have to know anything about pirates, would you? No, you killed all the pirates here. Mm, some of them got away. Magnus is still upset. Well, the Sea God's Fury did serve um, another Ludus, you know. And they're yeah. basically a bunch of pirates. Yeah, Magnus used to be one of them. Right, she says. Like, she's may have suspected or known. All that nonsense was so long ago. Yes. All right, we're we will uh, basically bust out some invisibilities and sort of scoot um, across. Uh, Captain Saul's Araster is the one that you're making reference to. Yes. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't cross him. Only I knew someone with a nice, powerful boat. She nods. She's not too sure what you're getting at. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <sighs> it was a pleasure dueling with you, Sindara. Oh, uh, don't count me out yet. There are lots of goblins in the east. She smiles. <laughs> So You've I... got some shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose it'll help me blend in with the rest of you. <laughs> uh, okay, she's uh... making her way towards the docks. She yep. is kind of like looking back, like she's expecting you to like not let her go. And she quickly goes to the end and actually is now knocking on like one of the ships and trying to wake some people up in the boat. <clears throat> She's trying to use her two talents to probably book passage on a ship. Okay. Uh, and Ashoka is going to just watch over to make certain nothing goes horribly wrong, because basically the worst way this could go is she gets caught and goes, Ashoka tried to save me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, in the middle of the night, um, these docks aren't well patrolled. There's a lot of people in uh, in in Vatapol at this point in time, and she finds some... Uh, she finds some sailors that have not gone to the bars and, and uh, whorehouses of Vatapol uh, that stay behind to guard boats and uh, is now talking to one of them. Perfect. 
apparently it's one that she knew. She went to a specific dock and to a specific boat, uh, and you can see that she is now disappearing into the boat. Big, the boat's big enough to have a, a, a deck. Mm. Some old-looking caravel. Thoughts, Nim? <laughs> Nim comes flying down towards you, turns into a little imp, and is looking around because he can't see you. <clears throat> uh, turn. Uh, actually, uh, I will. No, oh, tele we'll teleport back into. Uh, we'll do a dimension door back to the inside of the interior of the city, and then okay. basically turn visible and start walking home. Yep. Thoughts. It was very kind of you, un unremarkably so, to rescue Sindara. I thought the point was to destroy her and then finally kill her. It was to break her down. Ah, yes, Master. You are um, quite adept at that. And yeah. I suppose once she is broken, what good use of her is uh, if she's dead? Now she is your pawn. Yes. Always good to make friends. Yes, Master. I learned so much from you. Great and power Ashoka. The sneak tank. The green scale. The master manipulator. The breaker of wills. That's enough, Nim. Yes, master, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm now looking at the customer generate scroll. I'm in such a good mood. How much would I theoretically spend? <laughs> On a what? On a regenerate scroll. Oh. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Finally, he shall receive his reward <laughs> that he has worked so hard for. Yeah. That's funny. I need to see if it's if it's two talents, then then it's kind of a. <laughs> it's fifth. The city scenario. is a buzz <laughs> with excitement. The next day, the weather. It is as if the five face god and. and clear, nary a, nary a cloud in the sky, but yet a gentle breeze to keep the, um, uh, to keep the stagnation of a great city um, um, uh, away. The town is a buzz. Everyone in the town is excited for the summer end games. There are people at your gate that are wishing you well, leaving little offerings. This is particularly the conclave. Uh, wishing you well, offerings. Uh, there are those that are chanting and singing outside of your Ludus. This is happening at probably all the Ludus's with, uh, with uh, the town divided in their loyalties. Um, eventually, somebody makes enough had... noise. What's that, Mark? I just ha had a thought. Are there such a thing as gladiatorial hooligans? Oh, dude, I just thought this exact same thing. <laughs> like, yeah! It's like painted all. <laughs> Yeah, sure. There are lots of people that are that are that are getting drunk and uh, and choosing sides. Um, eventually, some of the tall men manage to uh, manage to push their way past, and are, are knocking at Magnus's gate, the gate of the Ludus. Uh, oh, those are glad. Sure. Sorry, uh, Yuri has come to visit you specifically, which is quite an honor on a day uh, such as this. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep it down, you you fucking peasants. <laughs> where where is Magnus? Magnus, Magnus. Ah, uh, this is uh, where glory happens, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Magnus will go out and meet him. Oh, actually, Magnus sees him. Yep. Okay, he'll he'll say like, yeah, that little fool, come on, you're welcome, Clark, come on in. Okay, his uh, uh, his two guards basically stay at the gate to make sure that no one else comes in. Yeah, Fury comes over to you. Ah, it will not take too long. Uh, I have many lootings to make. Uh, several of you forgot to uh, to place any bets for coming match. Uh, Shoka. Between you and newcomers, it's almost like it is day one for you. <laughs> Leaving at the last minute, give me ulcer. It, it is not good. It's been uh, it's been a lot of work. I've had to shape them up. Get back to work. 
I <laughs> suppose that uh, we can go up and have a drink. If you have drink, you've got drink here, right? Tell me you've got drink. Oh, me, me, no. You know how we don't uh, drink here. You know, from the north and everything. <laughs> Come on, I get the strongest mead. Mead? Uh, I would have known. I should have known it is some Corsican. And some of the weaker stuff. <laughs> Corsican swill. He'll bring him up. Ah, hey, Ashoka! Claw's here! Yuri, how Sk pleasure to have you at our Lutus. Yes, I've never been. It's nice in here. I can see why you hide in here instead of out there. <laughs> uh, quite a rabble that is going. Uh, everyone's going to uh, be a rich man at end of uh, end of day. <laughs> not really. And you, you're not allowed to bet on yourself. Uh, not allowed to bet against yourself this time. I I got the trick you tried to pull on me. Hey, what? What? What happened? He bet against you, and you bet for you, and I thought there's some way of me making more money. No, he's probably just confused. He's a good guy. Uh... But I am here because uh, <laughs> I look at my book, I think, uh, did I drink too much last night, and I did not, and then uh, it, 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 it comes to me that I have not seen the great Magnus and his forearm freaky friend here. Nor have I seen the green Ashoka that they're uh, pulling strings behind the scenes. I don't think we don't know what you do around here. Well, Ashoka puts on the innocent. <laughs> Magnus, <laughs> Magnus has that exact same look in his, on his token. He's like, hmm? I have not seen you. I get, uh, I get uh, worried like, uh, like a fat girl uh, on second date. Uh, not second date happened, you know? Like, uh, uh, it is... Uh, you make me feel bad. So I come here and I ask you why not we have second date. You're going to place yeah, bet? I take bet right here. I have, <laughs> I, have my little, I have my little notebook and he takes out like little spectacles and, and like a little, a little quill and paper. And... Let's, let's see how we're doing with the ledger. You, uh, you, uh, you place bet now? Uh, did we oh, put 10 auto. talent or said 12 talents? Each it was Lutus? 12 talents, but the Arlen uh, was supposed to do that additionally with the... Uh, I don't well. I don't know if anybody from the town went to enforce the um, Arlen doesn't know the looters pot with the yeah. Uh, there, there, there is the looters, uh, the looters uh, pot that that helps the the winner basically. So there's a twelve talent cost to the. Does circus. someone go to Arlen to discuss sure. that? Yeah, yeah. Someone is okay. already Arlen will. Or you'll that. get a bill later. You know. <laughs> uh, but no, Yuri's job is not the uh, the people's. No, this is, is this is. So, what are our odds, Yuri? That it is a it is a fucking eight way coin toss. It's going to be a real cluster out there. So did I just hear eight to one? Well, let me let me check my book. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Magnus is Magnus is like going. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't feel good. Oh my god! No, it's six to one. He smiles. I've got to make money somehow. Yep. Oh yeah. No, no, no. That's that's like, that is for a coin toss. Those are those are good odds. We should put money on this. Um. You all right for twenty five? Twenty five. Are you uh, betting on your own Lutus, eh? Of course. It would be uh, unethical to bet otherwise, right, Magnus? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't bet on any anything else. He shrugs yeah, like he doesn't really. Be unethical. He he, he, he doesn't really care. He puts you down, twenty five for uh, uh, conclave. Where's this uh, uh, heathen drink of yours? <laughs> hey, uh, give me something strong. Okay, some Come of the Zverf's, Zverf's servants come running and they uh, they go and fetch you uh, your your bottle of mead. Yep. Uh, yeah, share it with them. Is there any other side bets? I know that some of you are independently wealthy. Are you allowing some of your slaves to place bets? You know the ones that are allowed to keep a few coins in their pockets? Magnus will... Where is that creepy old wizard? Where is that creepy young wizard of yours? The one with the uh, sticky skin. He does not get enough sun, I don't think. But is he placing bet? Uh... I 
do not believe Phineas would be placing a bet this season. Um, no, he's, he's got other advice. I understand. Yes. Uh, Ashoka's hiding his suspicion. He's trying to... Does does this man truly understand? Or is this just... It's just a, a comment. No, he's hinting he knows something. Fuck. Fuck, Phineas! <laughs> You're supposed to come to me to get your supply. <laughs> How Yuri knows, you don't know. Yep. Um, so that's, that is interesting information, uh, Yuri. Y Yuri acts like slipped. Like, this is, th he's continuing on like he doesn't know he, um, he, let, he let you know something. Like, exactly. Uh, okay. Which kind of means it's a well-known fact. A lot of people know. Um, it's, he's, Phineas is not doing a good job with this, and probably should use some consulting on this if we want to keep this under control. Magnus will put ten talents. Oh, Magnus, 10 talents on uh, Conclave? Or are you going to bet on these newcomers? I might even give you 7 to 1 for... Uh, uh, for uh... <laughs> oh, Magnus, <laughs> Magnus, Magnus, your... bets, Magnus bets on, his, <laughs> on the house. Oh, he takes... Oh, mead. Ah, honey should never be part of process. Only potato. It's made from honey. <laughs> <laughs> the pills for cooking! It's too sweet. It's like you're uh, going to grow fairy wings and fly away. Whatever you want. Hey, show him. <laughs> he goes to crack his... Do your thing. <laughs> no. Never mind. Crack his savior energies. Oh, oh yes, yeah, he's brought he weird bug wings from back. It's hard to get the scene out of his... Um... He licks his pen and continues to... In <laughs> fact, <Fact> one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got your bet. Is anything else? Uh, anything else you want to bet? You could also bet slave. I think we're good. The Shoka we're good. <laughs> you know, the other slaves, are, guy, the other slaves are kind of making themselves uh, unseen. Scarce, small, <laughs> yeah, scarce, yeah, scarce and small, oh, backing out oh. of the room. Six. Magnus, you no. should bet that old guy. He's creepy and weird. Oh, uh, which one? The old <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, Vigo? No, <laughs> the other old one. <laughs> Oh, uh... Joseph has oh, the shift. Yeah, Talking about Phelan? <laughs> Phelan? <Open> pants. <laughs> like the guy who's following me around? No. What's his name? Uh, there he is. Yes. The shift. Oh, the shift? Uh, uh, Magnus is like, no, I don't want to give this creepy assassin weird guy to a creepy assassin weird guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, if this is all you have to offer for hospitality, Yuri will leave. Uh, not, No longer rebuffed. Next time you come to Yuri, eh, he does not like having to make rounds. It reminds him of younger days when he had to bust kneecaps. Apologies, <laughs> Yuri. It's been a very busy end of season. No, yeah, nah, it's been quite it, busy. It, it, making money, it slip your mind, yeah. He kind of like makes fun of you a little bit. And, <laughs> yeah. He leaves. I, I, for us, it's like the champion's pots, like. That's really the money at the end of the season. <laughs> it's like all uh, right, talent. let's go see these newcomers and uh, pay them visit. These newcomers have eight talents left. These newcomers. <laughs> it was hilarious because Arlen's like, we don't need to worry about money. Oh, I know. Uh, Arlen's like, I don't have to worry. The the Countess has all the money. I don't. <laughs> Okay, um, Godiva was told that she doesn't have to participate in the games. How is she keeping herself busy in the meantime? Oh, she's exploring the city with Mr. Prancy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's, uh, give me a diplomacy check, I guess, or a perform check, or whatever. Because uh, you've got, lot, you've got lots of people that want to come and pet Mr. Prancy Pants, because oh, he's Mr. big, Prancy... fluffy, and pink. Mr. Prancy Pants is very nice. Go ahead and... You can pet him. He's very nice. <laughs> she makes a talent on the street. Uh, oh, yes. Phineas and the Duke. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. That's, yes. Yeah, I that a while ago. Diplomacy plus 10. Oh, I've, only, I've only got like 20 sticky notes of Fermi, but that's coming up. <laughs> 25? Diplomacy. Yeah, you uh, you aren't arrested. Um, in fact, uh, 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 Mr. Prancy Pants, amongst uh, the locals and visitors to the city alike, um, um, is somewhat of a side attraction today. Um, 
Uh, you get several offers to purchase Prancy Pants. Um, you got you got a lot of children that seem to like it. Uh, even some old folks come up and feed it an apple. Uh, She'll let children go for a ride on Mr. Prancy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you you don't get far from the Chateau de la Plume towards the uh, um, uh, towards the Market of the Gods when you've you've basically created a side attraction. Um, given how weird Mr. Prancy Pants is, you're pretty sure that uh, you could probably make a living, uh, a, a very poor living, um, but a living, but a living, letting people pet and touch and ride Mr. Prancy Pants. Yeah, she just sits on the side of the road. Prancy Pants rides one copper piece. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do uh, twenty five? We'll say that you end up making um, uh, six silvers. Well, sure. in, in the couple of hours that you spend, uh, uh, Mr. Prancy Pants. Um, Alrighty. Uh, and there was one offer to purchase him for a hundred gold pieces. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Arlen, Six. that morning you just finished preparing your spells, praying. You could sell Prancy Pants as a scam by traveling yeah. town to town and selling the summon creature and then just having it yep. disappear after 12 hours yep. and then selling it again <laughs> and going to the next town. That's, uh, that's one way to get people after you. <laughs> uh, Arlen, you just finished um, um, preparing your spells in that morning. Uh, you were about to go down for breakfast. Um, the crowds are visibly loud outside. Uh, you sit down with your gladiators that are all around the table. Uh, there, this is actually some mirth at the table, thanks to uh, Callie and Sam and Grizak. <laughs> it uh, certainly looks like a bull's junk. <laughs> this is, uh, this is Edward. <laughs> uh, that that is two eggs in a hanky. If you say so. Arlen wheels up when there's like a pounding at the door, like. Goo, goo, goo. Hello. Um, guards. Uh, Guards from the manor uh, answer the door. Uh, they look visibly startled. Yes, I know you know who I am. You uh, you still owe uh, uh, you still owe us uh, fifteen gold pieces. I uh, make sure you pay it next time you get paid. Yeah, and one guard's like, uh, y y yes sir, yes sir, Yuri. I am here to speak to uh, acting Lannister of, uh, of Dreadful Circus. That would be me. <laughs> A few others get up from the table to kind of stand flank around uh, Arlen. Oh, it look like you have final meal, yeah? It is uh, very touching to see uh, all of, uh, all of uh, Dreadful Circus here to... Um, uh, Hey, the camaraderie is, is touching last cockle Yuri's got in his heart. Yuri. My uh, name is Arlen. Um, actually, it's Al you've met him before. Have I? Yeah, we had to go Oh, we bought back. the, uh, we bought back we bought, uh, Roger's, uh, Roger's uh, armor. Armor. So we, we've dealt Bob with him before. Uh, Yuri. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to see you again. He notices him looking around. He's probably m noticing that R Roger isn't here. Uh oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sam will wave hi because he showed up there. Yeah. Uh, the, that conversation is muscle. Yeah, hey. If you don't mind, I'd like to sit down, have something uh, uh, to drink here. You give uh, Yuri a drink. Uh, you uh, you understand that of hospitality, don't you? It's also like ten Please. in the morning. <laughs> Please, come on, come on in. Join well, us for breakfast. You. It's uh, very, very good for you to offer. He kind of rolls his eyes, looking back at the guards. They just sneer. Um, they, they take a step inside and just sort of flank the open doorway. Yuri comes in and sits down. He pulls up a chair where Arlen's chair was wheeled up to. He's kind of looking at Arlen's breakfast. He pushes it off to the side. He takes the cup, sniffs at it. It was probably water because it's Arlen. He splashes it on the floor and puts the cup out in front of him. Um... Um, Edward, can you Ugg's find like something? looking at him like, the fuck? <laughs> yes, uh, 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 Edward, could you please find uh, something that... Um... 
uh, yes, I think there's a, a, a whiff of something over here. And he goes off to the room and comes back and pours some, some brown liquid, obviously alcoholic, uh, into the cup. Yuri, Yuri kind of swirls it around. It, uh, you must be a uh, Nibbles and Grizak, or Grizak and Nibbles. Yes, yes, I am Nibbles. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, it's a uh, pleasure. Uh, you were a champion at uh, Fallen Stone, were you not? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, Nibbles. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we lost some money when you uh, when you defeated Minotaur, but uh, we made lots of money before the Minotaur was defeated. So you'll know no hard feelings. Oh, good. 